Good morning, kindergartners. We're back together again for another Hegarty lesson. We're gonna be playing with sounds and words. Remember, just like you do with your teacher, you're going to listen and then try. Let's start with rhyming. I'll say a word and then you'll tell me the word that rhymes. My turn first. Lunch. Bunch. Fun. Bunch, Bunch lunch. Bunch and lunch rhyme. Ready? Ouch. Fry. Couch. 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 Ouch. Flash. Mash. Me. Mash. Flash. Hush. Must. Crush. Crush. Mush. Much. Touch. My. Touch. Much. Fresh. Mesh. Free. Fresh. Mesh. Fresh and mesh rhyme. Great job rhyming, kindergartners. Now we're gonna be listening for and repeating the first sounds in words. I will say a word, you'll repeat the word, and then say the first sound. My turn first. Sheep. Sheep. Shh. Shh is the first sound in sheep. Ready? Them. Them. Choose. Choose. Ch Thumb. Thumb. Shout. Shout. Shh. Thing. Thing. Great job hearing those first sounds. All right, kindergarten, now it's time to blend. I will tell you the sounds in words and you will blend them together to make the word. My turn first. blended those sounds into words. Great job. All right, kindergartners, now it's time to listen for and to repeat last sounds. I will say a word and you will say the word and then emphasize the last sound. Watch me. Catch. Ch is the last sound in catch. Your turn. Math. Math. Cash. Cash. Itch. Itch. Both. Both. Touch. Touch. Great job hearing those last sounds. Now it's time to segment. I will say the word and you'll use your choppers to break the word up into its sounds. My turn first. Shout. Out, shout, sh out are the three sounds in shout. Great job. Get your choppers ready. Shape, sh ape, shape, cheat, ch eat, cheat, then, the e then, chin, ch e chin, thud. Great job segmenting. You broke those words up into their sounds. Now it's time to add a sound. I will say part of the word, tell you the sound to add, and you'll blend it into a new word. My turn first. At. Add ch. 
The word is chat. chat. Great, your turn. L, add sh. The word is shell. In, add th. The word is thin. Ift, add sh. The word is shift. An, add th. The word is van. Great job. Now it's time to take away a sound. I will tell you a word, we'll take away a sound, and you'll tell me what's left. Ready? My turn first. Chance. Without ch, what's left is An ants. Your turn. Thump. Without th, what's left is ump. Shock. Without sh, what's left is ah. Chunk. Without ch, what's left is um. Thus, without th, what's left is us. Uh. Great job taking away those sounds. All right, kindergartners, it's gonna get tricky. We're gonna be substituting or changing sounds to make new words. Watch me first. Chop, change the ch to sh, and the word is shop. Your turn. Pin, change p to ch, and the word is chin. Then. Change th to wh, and the word is when. Chip. Change ch to sh, and the word is ship. That. Change th to ch, and the word is cat. Great job substituting phonemes. We're going to wrap up by learning a new nursery rhyme. Today, I'm going to teach you the nursery rhyme, Jack B. Nimble. I'll say a line, and then you repeat. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack jump over the candlestick. Jack jump over the candlestick. Let's put it all together. Ready? Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack jump over the candlestick. And... We are done do 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 we are done do 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 we are done do 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 we are done great job kindergarten hi there kindergartners welcome to another episode of fun with phonics i am miss turner and our helper for today is lily the leopard you can just call her lily for short we're so glad you're here to learn with us today. On today's episode, we will continue to review consonant digraphs and we will become sight word detectives. We're gonna learn a lot of interesting and tricky things about sight words today. But before we begin, I want you to grab a piece of paper and something to write with. Remember, if you don't have a pencil, it's okay. Choose a crayon, a color pencil, and a marker. Me and Lily are going to give you 10 quick seconds to grab your materials. On your mark, get set, ready, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, hurry back, 3, 2, and 1. Before we begin, we're going to sing a song together to get our brains and our bodies ready to learn. Some words have short vowel sounds, A, E, I, O, U. Good job, kindergarten friends. So we're going to begin practicing our letters and our sounds. We're going to use our large cards to practice our letter keyword sounds together. Eyes ready? Good. Let's begin. A, apple, A. B, bet, b. C, cat, k. D, dog, d. E, ed, e. F, fun, f. G, gang, g. H, hat, I, itch, e. J jug j K kite k L lamp 
L. M man. N nut. N. O octopus. Ah. P pan. P. Q U queen. Q. R rats. S snake. T top. Good job, kindergarten friends, at cutting that uh sound off of the end of the t sound. Great job. U up uh. V then W when w. X fox. Y yellow y. Z zebra z. So we are going to do a quick beginning sound flash. When I show you a letter, I want you to say the beginning sound and the letter. Let's begin. B. B. You tell me. Good job, kindergartners. F. F. Good job. Mmm. M. Lastly. Good job, kindergarten friends. W. W. So now, I want you to think of some words that start with the beginning sound. W. Mm. Let's think about it. What words do you know that start with the beginning sound? W. Mm. Can you tell me and Lily? I heard some great words. I heard the word wet. We also heard the word Wednesday, winter, we, and window. Good job, kindergarten friends. We're gonna continue to practice our vowels. As we're practicing our vowels, we're going to extend each vowel sound. Let's act that out together. Extend. Each vowel sound. Mm, let's think about that word, extend. Who remembers what that means? Mm. Good job. Extend means to stretch out. So we're gonna extend and stretch out each vowel sound so we can hear the sound each vowel sound makes. Let's begin. A, apple. E, ed, e, I, itch, e, o, octopus, ah, you, uh, up. Uh, good job, kindergarten friends. So today we're going to continue to review our consonant digraphs. Mm. So we're going to ask Lily, what are digraphs, Lily? Can you tell our kindergarten friends what are digraphs? Digraphs are two letters that make one sound. Thank you, Lily, for helping our kindergarten friends. Digraphs are two letters that make one sound. As we practice the letter keyword sound, I'm going to act out each sound to help us lock those sounds in our brains. So I'll go first and then we'll practice together. And remember, don't forget to act out each sound. C H chin ch. T H thumb. And remember, your tongue should be in between your teeth. S H ship. W H whistle w. C K sock. Now, kindergartners, I want you to pick up your thinking cap, put it on, strap it on nice and tight because I'm going to say a digraph sound, and then you are going to tell me what two letters work together to make that sound. So, for example, if I said, what? What? What?
digress, sis. Woo. Woo. You always say WH says woo. So let's practice together. What digraph says k? Good job. CK says k. What digraph says mm. Good job. TH says mm. What digraph says Nice job. SH says shh. What digraph says shh? Very good. CH says shh. And what digraph says wuh? Excellent. WH says wuh. So now we're going to practice tapping and blending words that contain our consonant digraph. So let's get our tapping fingers ready to tap. Let's warm them up, wiggle them slow, wiggle them fast, wiggle them slow, and freeze. Put your tapping fingers below each word. Think about our beginning sound. I'll give you a clue. Begin. Shh. Ah. Shop. Good job. Ready? Sh. I. P. Ship. Good job. Hmm. C H. What sound does C H make, friends? C H says ch. Tap your hands up. Begin. Ch. I. N. Chin. Two words. Think about the digraph you notice. What sound does TH make? Terrific. TH says, mm. get your tapping hands ready. Begin. Uh, d, thud. E, n, thin. Excellent job, kindergarten friends. So now, we are gonna do something very, very special. We're gonna turn into sight word detectives. So I want you to pick up your magnifying glass so we can work with three tricky sight words. The first word we'll investigate is A. Our next tricky word we'll investigate is was. Our last word we're going to investigate is as. So we're going to use our magnifying glasses to take a closer look at each word. When you take a closer look at something, friends, you investigate it. So that's why we're going to become sight word detectives. Because detectives investigate mysteries all the time. So get your magnifying glasses ready so we can investigate. Let's look at our first word. First word is A. Hmm. We know that A is the letter of an alphabet. But when we read the word A, it doesn't make the short vowel sound. A, it simply says A. What does our next word say, friends? Excellent. Our next word says was. Let's take a closer look at that middle sound. Good. It's spelled with an A. We know that A makes the short vowel sound, ah, but when we read the word, it doesn't make the short vowel sound, ah, it actually makes the short U sound, uh. Also, let's look at the last letter in the word. What's that last letter, friends? Great. S. What sound does the S make? Mm-hmm. However, when we read the word was, it doesn't make the sound at the end. So let's get ready to stretch out the word and listen to that ending sound. Get your stretching hands ready. Let's listen to the ending sound in the word. Begin. Was. 
Let's stretch it one more time. Buzz. What ending sound did you hear? Mm, that's excellent. Let me whisper. Lily said she heard the zzz sound. Did you all hear that sound, friends? Great. What letter makes that sound? Z. So when we say the word was, we don't pronounce the S sound. We pronounce the Z sound. Was. Let's look at our next word. What are we going to investigate and learn about our last word? What does our word say, friends? Good. It says as. If we look at the first letter in the word, it is an A. It's an A. When we read the word, it makes the short vowel sound. But listen to me read the word and tell me what sound you notice at the end of the word. As. As. What sound do you notice? Excellent. It also makes the Z sound like it does in the word was. A was as. Good job, kindergarten friends, for being great sight word detectives and investigating all the tricky things in our three sight words. So this is the end of our lesson. Me and Lily want to thank you for coming and joining us today and practicing and learning new things. But before we say goodbye, let's think about all of the things we've practiced and we learned today. So remember, we practice our beginning sounds, our letters. We also practice our short vowel sound and stretching them out. We practice our digraphs, and we also learn about some tricky sounds that are contained within our sight words. So at the end of this lesson, friends, I want you to choose one of these words, a, was, or as, and use that word in a sentence. And I want you to tell your family member about that word. Before we go, let's do a quick activity. We're gonna do three things. We're gonna say the word, write the word, and then read the word. Now, I want you to get your paper and your pencil. Hold your pencil up. Wiggle it, good, now rest it. Now, I'm gonna say a word first, and then you'll repeat after me. A. So now I want you to pick up your pencil or your crayon, whatever you're writing with, and write the word A. Make sure you're using a lowercase letter. Put your finger below the word. Good, let's read it. A. Our next word was. Good job. Let's spell the word was together. W A S. Put your finger below the word. Was. Good job. Our last word is as. Good job. I heard that sound at the end of the word as. Let's practice writing the word as together. A. S. Put your finger below the word. Good job, friends. As. And this writing, reading, and saying will help you to remember one of the words that you're going to use in your sentence to tell your family member. So, when we come back on our next episode, we're going to continue to review consonant digraphs and we're going to get information. Bye-bye, kindergarten friends. See you on the next episode.